Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today I'm back with another makeup video. I know it's been a while since I've done my foundation Friday, and some of you have expressed that you do miss them, but I went shopping in my last vlogs, and you might have seen me buy a bunch of different makeup products from Ulta and Target. So today I'm actually going to be using those products on my face for the first time. So if you want to see me shop for these products, go back and watch my vlogs. If you want to see what I put in my hair, go back and watch my last video for my black owned hair routine. But just about all the products I'm going to be using today are black owned. So let's get started with my moisturizer because my skin is very dry right now. So I picked up the new Keys Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream. Ah, oh, I got the fragrance free one. I could have sworn I got the regular one, but whatever. Look at that very cute very sleek i would smell it but i know it's yep fragrance free <laughs> and oh yeah that feels nice okay alicia i see you i have always respected how open alicia has been about her skin you don't see many celebrities talk about their acne and as somebody who has had severe acne it's always nice to see somebody that's in the limelight that you can relate to Okay, so it's very lightweight, very creamy, but it does feel very moisturizing. Let's see how this does under my makeup. So far, so good. Wow, my camera wasn't recording, but I just applied my primer by LYS, stands for Love Yourself. It's their Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. It's supposed to minimize the look of enlarged pores and brighten the appearance of hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. It's like a jelly consistency, and I really like how it felt going on. I do feel like it's kind of like helping hide my large pores and didn't have any scent. According to the website, LYS Beauty is the first black-owned Sephora clean color cosmetics brand. I'm here for it. For my foundation, I got Beauty Bakery. I've been wanting to use this brand for a while now because they have the cutest names and everything has to do with like baking, literally. So this is their Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. Packaging is so cute, like a little spatula there. I got the color 325N Neutral. So it has a little pump applicator, so I'm just gonna put a couple pumps here onto a brush. Hopefully this is the right color. Here we go. Ooh, it says full coverage. Full coverage formula effortlessly covers anything. Anything left in its wake. So far the coverage is really good. It is maybe a little bit more tan than I am. Granted, I haven't seen sunlight in like a year. So we are now completely full coverage. I don't think it's like an exact match, but I definitely can make it work. Now for my concealer, I also got one by Beauty Bakery. This is their Insta Bake 3-in-1 Full Coverage Concealer. I respect the full coverage. Cute little packaging. This is the color Jamsterdam. Oh yeah, this is the perfect concealer color that I like. And look how full coverage that is. Oh yes. Okay, I'm ready for battle. Now I'm going to blend this out with a beauty blender. The coverage of the concealer is bomb. And to set this all, I'm gonna use Beauty Bakery again because how cute is this packaging? It's their flower. Get it, powder flower beauty bakery better not bitter flower setting powder i got the color plantain caramel look at that packaging i'm almost gonna lightly tap some in the top more of like a yellow color use my beauty sponge and set this under the eye oh wow it's kind of dark probably could have gone even translucent hmm Oh no, did I just mess up my face? <sighs> I mean, it set it really well, it's just not the right color. I wonder if I can salvage this with some translucent powder. That might be a little better. 
Okay, let's just keep moving. <laughs> so now for my contour, I'm gonna use the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer. Like that, such cute packaging. And for my blush is another Beauty Bakery product called Snackaroons, kind of like macaroons, so cute. It is kind of reddish. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. It's a lot of color on my face today. Okay, that was a little, little red for me. I think I put too much. I'm gonna try to chill it out. It's better. That was bright. Let's move on to the brows. I got the two-in-one brow gel and pencil from the lip bar. Ooh, I like it, it goes on very easily. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this palette by Juvia's Place, also black owned. Very pretty pigmented colors. This is the Vanessa and Juvia's Place collab. I think I'm gonna be using the color Busy, BSG, and Extra. Speaking of makeup, I want to let you guys know that I recently applied to be in the 2021 Sephora squad. If you aren't familiar with what that is, it's a year-long partnership with Sephora. So that would mean I would be able to get my hands on a bunch of new hair care brands, skincare, and makeup all year long to give you guys even more reviews. So if you enjoy my hair and skincare and makeup videos, I really would appreciate a testimonial from you to better my chances. So I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can write me a little something something if you think I would be a great addition to the Sephora squad. And for those of you that already sent in a testimonial, thank you so much. Your kind words mean so much to me and I truly, truly appreciate it. For my liner, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty fly liner, liquid black eyeliner. I'm usually better with a brush versus a felt tip when it comes to my wings, but I got the job done. Three items that I am missing out of my black owned stash. I don't have a black owned mascara, an eyeliner, or lashes, so I have to order that. So let me just pop that on real quick. Oh yes, yeah. see, lashes just make everything look better, even if you have no eyeshadow skills. It just kind of hides all your mistakes. Now let's get the lips popping. I got two items from Minted, also a black owned brand. This is the Minted Nude Lala and the Lala Lip Pencil. I really had to get it because my mom is obsessed with lip liners and she always goes Lala when she's happy. So shout out to my mommy. Ooh, I love it. It went on so smooth. Yes, packaging. Ooh, nothing like the first time. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I love this color. And for the final touch, you gotta add some highlight. I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Hustler, baby. Bam, bam, bam. And voila, now the only thing left is to finish off my hair. Much better. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how I look. I did learn that I think I need to get a different color in this setting powder it was a little bit too yellow for me and this was even a little bit too red for my skin tone i love the minted lip the brow pencil also went on very easy i'm looking forward to trying more products by lys i want to see how the primer works match with the lys foundation and the rest of their products but yeah let me know what you guys think what was your favorite item that i showed in this video which one do you want to try which one have you tried which ones do i need to try that i haven't already if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.